Right, so in this session we're going to learn about how to insert actually in a binary search tree. So it's rather very simple. So inside the BST we need to create, um, not really create, but we need to insert, create a method insert. So we just go public void, so it's not going to return a type. So we just set it as void. So this one it maybe takes a key or this can be uh, an object maybe but for now we're assuming that they're storing integers in it so public void in the insert method uh, when this method is called first of all we need to create a node because we'll be linking them as a left child or a right child that is find new right so First of all, it's null. When the first time I'm going to insert, so you remember whenever that I'm creating an object of it, it's null here. And when this null is created, the next time I'm going to insert, I have to make sure that I erase this null because this is the root. Therefore, I will have to create a node. Now, when the root is set to a new node, first of all, you have to create this node. We have a class that creates this node. And when this node will now be attached to the next node, then we'll have to either set it as a left child or a right child. Now we'll have to make sure that we provide some searching uh, some searching criteria and it's very simple. You have to go on the left, otherwise take the right. So let's go and see the code what uh, what, what we mean and I'm going to show you actually an animation how it insert. So let me show you the animation. How we insert. That will be much better clear to you. So I have some workshop applets on this. So this is from uh, Robert Lafo, uh, Data Structures and Algorithm. And I would like to thank them. Uh, uh, for using so it's uh, they're right over there. I'm not copying or making Changes to them. It just I'm using them for teaching purposes and for helping so and for studying myself Okay, so uh, it's on chapter 8. So just go ahead on chapter 8 If you need this applet, you can just mail me or send me a message. I'm just going to uh, Send you them by mail And make sure you use them for good purposes Right, so we will surely take some time for loading. Sorry for that. Right, so actually this is an applet that we are going to create. Right, let's say we want to uh, actually insert 34. Right, so it's very simple. Well, you have to click on insert and then enter your node value. So I've already inserted. So first of all, we'll insert node with key 34. So we start by 25, right? So 34 is greater than 25. So we're going to move on the right side of it. Right? So we just move to the right side. Then from this, we know that it's going to be on the left side of this. So again, you see that it's greater than 25 and the tree, is uh, the tree criteria is preserved. Then it's 61, so 34 is less than 61, therefore we are going to move on this side. Then we're going to move again on this side until we reach the leaf, a leaf, and then we can insert it down over there on the left side. Right, so it's going to be inserted over here. Right, so here not inserted it, just to make sure how we traverse the list. So first of all, you need to uh, create a node. Let's call it uh, let's call it N one, and uh, we're just going to say new node. And uh, like I said, when a new node is created, we just pass a key. So we're just going to pass a key inside it. So what happens is when this node is created, uh, we're going to pass inside here we're going to create a new node inside here. So then uh, this node is created, which is insert. Then uh, 
if uh, root equal to equal to null that is at first the root is null therefore we'll have to change the, it we just append it as a new node so we're just going to say root is equal to the new node which is n1 otherwise you will have to traverse the list now I have closed the animation but let's do it over here let's say I want to insert here so this is a leaf that is it doesn't have a child so we'll have to reach a node and we'll have to keep track of this node that is a parent of node which is here and we just set it depending on whether it is left or right we're going to set it as either a left or right child so we start first of all by uh, by creating some node right so node parent ins which we start as a root node parent so node 2 ins node let me call it ins node so we start with the root right okay or you can call it test now you use a while loop so while ins node not equal to null so you will have to traverse the list until you come to a null. Right, so when we reach a null, you will have to use. So what we're doing is actually we're going to save, we're going to, whenever it's going to enter the loop, it's going to store the previous node we were in. Right, so it's going to be in node. Right, but otherwise, if, right, since we have, we are passing a key, Otherwise, we'll have to traverse the tree. So we're just going to say if ins node dot get key, or if the key is less than that, that is, if it is less, we're going to move on this side. Okay, we're just traversing. So if key, sorry, it's just key that we are passing forward. So if key is less than ins node, that is a node that we are traversing. So its node is just moving, moving. So it's just going to move from here to here. And one of the nodes, which is called the parents, for example, I'm on this node, it's going to store this node over here. Just to make sure that if I want inside, I just have to branch it to the parent directly. So if key less than insert node dot get key, then we're going to say that we're going to move to the left side of it. So we're just going to say ins node dot uh, is equal to ins node dot get left else we're just going to move to ins node is equal to ins node dot get right right so this is how we have already inserted so insertion is over not really over but let's say search is over now we have at the end of this where we want to insert the parent node because power ins is actually the ins node so remember we're starting from the root and we are searching where we want to insert it then from there we we can uh, do uh, we on the parent now you have to check if on the parent so if power ins right less than uh, let's say if the key is less than the parent ins sorry if key that we are passing so we are creating and uh, by key dot get key and then we're going to insert it at the key side that is on the left side so then we just go ahead par ins on the parent side we are dot set left we're going to set a node as a node n1 which I have just created upward else 
we're just going to insert it as a parent of it right child okay because we have said that for any node we'll have to insert it based on the key whether it is on the left child or right child now we have a bst app we're going to try to insert something in it so public b1 sorry b1 dot insert free b1 dot insert four b1 dot insert seven right so it should be inserting it first without any error right so we don't have any error let's try to run it again just to show you right so it's working perfectly without any errors sorry actually my console was missing let's run it again you will see that uh, that's working now I'm going to make sure that actually it is being inserted so I'm just going to do an in order traversal that is I'm going to traverse my tree if you don't know what is traversal I will just do it in some minutes okay let's assume that we have uh, a small subtree here so I'm going to do an in order traversal and I'm going to implement it but uh, before implementing it we'll have to add a print node uh, class uh, method to print it so what does in order traversal tell us for example I visit this node it will tell me to actually first of all visit the left child of it right so I'm on the root first, I visit the left side of it, so it, it's going to take 48. Then it's going to push open the parent node. Then it's going to print this node, which is a right child. But it says if this is a node, right, visit the left child of it, so it doesn't have any left child. Therefore, we have 60 and then 66. So we're just going to do, starting with 56, but visit my left child first then we're going to do with a parent node but since it doesn't have uh, it has a right child we're going to visit 60 right but doesn't have any uh, so actually when we come to 60 it says visit my left child so it doesn't have left child so we just go to the parent node and then 60 so actually we have printed it in order right now how to do this implementation so first of all you will need inside the node to print the content okay or you can print it in BST like this right but basically I will just say public void print system dot out dot print LN. concatenator we get right we want to do a pre-order in order traversal here so it's a recursive method so first of all it will have to take the root so I'm just going to say that for example we can get from here the root from the node that we're creating so we just say public node get root that is we want to start from the root from here so uh, we're just going to return root. so print in order traversal so it takes node n which is starting from the root and it's just going to print the node so if and not equal to null. Why we do this if we have reached the end of the trees and we'll have to do this. Now remember what we were doing is we were actually reaching first of all the left of the tree 
the right of the tree and then we are printing the content so actually how you will write the piece of code so that it prints the content so it's rather not complicated but very easy so let's try it ahead so let's assume that we're going to do this this way that is we're passing the node and uh, we want to print the content so we'll just go print in order and you're going to print the node and dot get left first but then you're going to say n dot I think we have print here right and uh, we can do print in order and dot get get right so you can do a in order travel so let's try it assuming that I'm wrong so b1 dot print in order and uh, we're just going to pass b1 dot get the root right that is I'm using the tree I've created to get the root right so can you see the result we have the key in order let's insert one more otherwise you say I have fooled you well, I'm just joking doesn't work so then you're going to have the different key so remember whenever there is an in order traversal you're going to just say get the left then print the node where you are and then get to the right I just make it really very clear over here that is you have to traverse the left then print the content node for example 48, 56, 60 and 66 but it's a recursive you have to learn it this way that you have to traverse uh, maybe the left and then you have to traverse maybe the the right and print the node now we're going to learn about this insertion it's recursive for how actually it's inserting and one of the difficult part is for example you want to get a leaf count a child single child count how to get them or we'll how to remove all the content remember for removing all the content or deleting all the node you will have to do things now we can traverse a tree to get the minimum of it and then the maximum traverse uh, to get the minimum you have to traverse on the left side of it and to get the minimum you have to traverse on the uh, maximum side of it which become rather easy Right, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.